Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, Max and Chloe headed over to the diner. They are trying to break into Frank's RV, although uh, if they do, there is still a very angry dog inside that they still have to deal with. Now then, let's head in. Hopefully we can get the keys off of him. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, uh, okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off of, off, uh, oh my god, English, brain. I managed to get us both tickets, had to fight a dozen bullies off for them though. Frickin' nerds, eh? Good on you, Warren. Good on you. Okay, yeah. That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. Uh, Friday flashback at the Newburgh drive-in. Go wait! A uh, conquest of the Planet of the Apes, uh, old school Halloween 1970s dystopia night. Each car only uh, $10 and no need to hide in the trunk. Friday, October 25th, uh, the Newburgh Drive In in Oregon, a night of cartoons, trailers, and rampaging apes. And then someone says, looking for a lady friend to go with, call me. Aww. I hope that guy or gal found a lady friend. We have. Oh shit, Nathan! Hi! You alright, dickhead? Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. But Frank is all the way over there. I think he might be being a little bit paranoid here, Max. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys! Yep, yep. But I do- I, I have to look around, I can't say no. I forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Yes, I, this is the same as last time, I believe. Get yeah, Dick Webber, Andy Berry, and Rich Conrad. Good stuff. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Hello. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. That, that's an amazing line. <laughs> I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. It's all good. Don't question it. But that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, <coughs> we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora. Will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning. What is happening in Arcadia Bay? Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be? Is this global warming? What is causing all of this crazy weather? Max. Max is calling, causing, excuse me, all of this crazy weather. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. No, it doesn't, but you could, you could wave to that guy. Hey, you got the gun with you today? You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Mm. I do like the kitten one. The kitten one is very cute. Uh, I miss having a cat. Bitch! Bitch! I... Mm, these hoes! These hoes! You should have jumped, asswipe. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm... Okay, the, the seventh sign... The sea and sky will turn black, and living things die because of it all. Shit. What are the other signs, then? Oh, dear. Okay, 
uh, Max, how are you gonna... How are you gonna go about this? Um, we could be dicks, you know, <coughs> spill a drink on him, pour food on him. However, that... That's not gonna do anything. That's just gonna piss him off. Like, it would be Max doing it for the fun of it, you know? Like, oh, I... I threw food on you, lol. Rewind. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. <coughs> oh, God, is it? I feel like Max would do one thing. Like, she'd do one of them at least once and then rewind and, you know, be serious. Go on, then. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. Yep, let's let's just rewind that. We've had our fun. <coughs> We've been a bitch. Let's let's not do that again. That was pretty funny though. I was eating those beans. Turn up the brain to eleven, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. That was, that was pretty funny, just that you creep me out. Damn. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Hmm. Uh, let's... let's just go through them. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. David? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Mm, paranoia. What can I do for you, Max? Uh, you can tell me about Nathan Prescott, because we were not finished. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Hmm. Uh, no, I want to. We'll chat later, Max. Okay, there was also the weird town I comment. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. What can I do for you, Max? Yeah, the weird town. I wanna. I wanna see everything. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems. About now, it makes me sick thinking about it. Yeah, what's this deal? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Ooh. 
you can use this key information with either Frank, Nathan, or the cop. Well, here's the thing that I feel like that we should tell to Nathan. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. Sure hope you're not following me. You're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Hmm. Again, I want to I just want to go through all of these. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> no. Holy shit, what do you want now? To bother you with more questions. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Bitch! Mm, holy shit. What do you want now? Uh, drugs for sale? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Mm. Holy shit. I don't know how much of that I trust. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Holy shit, what do you want now? The cop's information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Okay, that, that was weird. A blood oath for Rachel Amber. Okay. What can I do for you, Max? Yeah, tell me about Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Mm. I feel like that's all the information we're going to get out of other people. Mm. What the fuck now? Hmm. Let's, let's talk about Chloe's debt first. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. 
To who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> I mean, here's the thing. We can just take them and rewind very quickly. I, I want to see what he says about the drugs. My work here is done here, Frank. Oh, no, I want to... Oh, God. We're just going to take them. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Yeah, I did. Give me back my keys, bitch. No. Give me my keys now. Uh, no, thank you. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Oh, well, I, I guess we won't know what, what he was going to say for the other thing, but oh, well, it's all good. Uh, yeah, let's, let's head on out. Thank you, Frank. Oh, Alyssa, hi. Oh god, is this a... Uh... Are you shitting me? Yep. Yep, it's, it's a thing. Okay, let's... Let's go back. Okay, uh, Alyssa. Oh. Are you shitting me? Okay, again, we'll try it. Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. No worries, chicken. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. That's the second time you've saved me, Max. Thanks. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Kate's my friend, I'm just lucky, true. Yeah, Kate's Kate's my friend, it was the least we could do. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person, my friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is a grand idea, Alyssa. I, I really regret that I didn't notice she had been hit by toilet paper in the, in the past episode. That's so annoying. Okay, hey, I've got the keys. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Ready. On your mark, get set, throw! Uh, no, into the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Yeah, but if we had thrown it towards the road, I don't know if you just heard that, but there was a the sound of a fast-moving car, like... That would have fucked up the dog. Like, no. We're not gonna get the dog hurt. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. 
This place is nasty. Okie doke. Sorry about that. Had to just uh, pause the recording for a minute. Now that, yes, we are looking around the RV. Let me start my timer going again. Good stuff. Okay, yeah, this. Oh, God, look at, look at the must in the air. Oh, my God, this place. Oh, so, hey, nice. Um, yeah, this. Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download the porn. Yuck. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's great. Good to know. Um, shit, I, I got distracted. Oh, I think I was just gonna say this place must smell absolutely horrific. Uh, no, I would like would like to look. There we go. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Hmm, really? Because I can. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Yeah, he's a he's a drug dealer. He's clearly don't want to be interacting with no cops. Go oh, away. What the hell nice. is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. God damn it, Chloe. God damn. I think the dog he likes his bone more. Pompadou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Pompadou? How dare you! Pompadou deserves a pretty name. Yes, Pompadou is all teeth and snarls, but that that doesn't mean that they aren't beautiful on the inside. How dare you, Max? Zip, not a nothing. Hmm. Okie doke. Oh, I've got a baseball bat right I next to the door. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Yeah. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Oh god, I just... I just want to clean this. I hate seeing so many dirty dishes in the sink. Oh. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Oh uh, yeah. And then there's the, uh, the switchblade in his pocket. Oh god. <laughs> I do like his... We had David's... You know, computer screen, which was the American flag, and then Frank's a naked lady. Okay. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Okay. Gotta love it. Baggies and a candy bar. This is just... Of, of course he'd have the drugs right next to the food. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. I would like to see that an eco-friendly drug dealer. Like his baggies are like paper or something. How can somebody live like this? God, I just Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Gotta love Chloe in the background, but yeah, I just, I, just, I want to clean. I, ca I can't deal with this mess. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Uh, okay, so that's Nacho. Here's the thing, this could be people that owe him. This could be, like, scores from, like, a darts game. Like, this, this could be anything. There's Nacho, Mick, Katie, Bruce, Johnny, and Tank. I don't think this is Kate. I think this must be a different Katie. Kate and Katie, it's quite a common name. Also, the only person who has ever referred to Kate as Katie is Victoria. Victoria wasn't Kate's friend. None of Kate's actual friends ever called her Katie. So I I don't think that's like a nickname that Kate goes by, I think. I think this must be a different person. There has to be some evidence linking Frank and Rachel. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm looking. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? I mean, we we do know that uh, Rachel was caught with some prescription pills. You know, she could have given those to Frank. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Yeah, just a bit. Hmm. Is Frank going to deal online now? Noob's guide to a web business. Well, he's... He has to get the word out there. Frank Bowers, your friendly neighborhood drug dealer. Like, he's got a... He's got a hustle, Max. Let the guy have his drug dealing website. 
I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Hmm. Okay. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Aww. No more secrets. Okay, what else? What else do we have in here? Got another vent. And this cupboard. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Uh, I'm assuming it's not going to be the blowtorch. That would be a little bit overkill. Okay, let's see. I mean, yeah, I was going to say I haven't found a screwdriver, but I have found a knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Hmm. Hold up, did I? I can't remember if I checked this one. No prize here. Okay. Good stuff. Let's let's try this one first. Curses! Nothing here. Hmm. Oh shit! The knife is broken. Okay. Well, let's rewind that. There's nothing behind that one. However, this one is loose. My blade will open any portal. Hey, nice. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Yeah, yeah, if the dog that is pissed off with everyone was very happy hanging out with Rachel, then that says that Rachel hung out with that dog a lot. Yeah, it, this is really gonna hurt Chloe. However, it's pretty obvious that Rachel and Frank's relationship was a lot closer than she realized. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. All right, yeah. Rachel Amber, I've said this again, she used people. She identified people who were flight risks, almost. People who were likely to leave town and she latched onto them. Chloe and Frank, the two kind of most flighty people. She also tried that on with the truckers. It, oh, I, I dislike Rachel. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Yeah. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Yeah, and that is a very cozy pitch, you know. Like, you, you'd just think they were a regular couple. You really would. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Mm hmm Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Uh, Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, so maybe we need to break our routine. XO, Rachel Amber. Hmm. Oh dear. Uh, Chloe. Chloe, you might not be happy with this. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe!
Well, I guess you're not getting your keys back. And you know what? I am going to bring this episode to a close right here. I, I... I do feel very badly for Chloe. Again, she's she's kind of taking her anger out on the wrong person. It's not Max's fault that Rachel was clearly using her. It's Max's fault for bailing on her for years. I'm like, yeah, that that's Max's fault. Uh, her dad dying, that's no one's fault except for whoever was in the other car. Like, that most certainly wasn't her dad's fault. Her dad didn't leave or betray her. He got killed. Her mom dating David, again, that... Joyce and David do have some blame in that, you know, Joyce clearly didn't take Chloe's feelings into consideration and David tried to push the relationship too fast. However, Joyce had every right to move on with her life. If she wanted to find a new relationship, she had every right to do so. However, she shouldn't have pushed that onto Chloe. It just... I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't think Rachel Amber was a good person. I think she used Chloe and Chloe is only just starting to see that and that must hurt her immensely. Alrighty then, in the next episode, I'm not entirely sure where the two are driving off to. Hopefully we can calm Chloe down, but that will have to wait until the next episode. So, until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.